So, this is Energy House 2. Through the fog is a glimpse of the future of our homes and how we power them. It's minus 13 inside the University of Salford's Energy House lab. The whole purpose of this lab is to take buildings through different climates. Here they're experimenting with how to build and heat zero carbon homes without blackouts or homeowners breaking the bank. With the National Grid asking some customers to manually power down their homes, in future that could be automated. Some vehicles and some apparatus will, will let us use the battery that's in here to power the house which is next to us. In the future could be driving around with this huge power plant sat outside our house so we could make better use of that in the future. Inside one of the experimental homes is an array of different heating options. Radiators powered by an air source heat pump, electric infrared heaters and underfloor heating, all connected to a smart meter to understand which works best at lowest cost and with lowest demand for grid power. Up in the loft there's a new kind of air source heat pump. Solar panels, a battery for storing electricity, all of which talk to the smart meter of the house and then on to the national grid. But all of this is really expensive kit that's going to need to be rolled out widely if we're going to manage energy demands and hit our net zero targets. And that future is some way off, with only around 50% of customers even on a smart meter. So what needs to change? It's about making sure we've got grid connections. It's about removing planning barriers for people to get heat pumps in their homes. And it's about making sure that our energy markets reflect the fact that renewables are going to be the incumbent form of generation. This is quite geeky work, but that's what we need government to do. And until they do it, we can't offer these services to ordinary people in their homes. We have the technology to make a low carbon electricity system that's stable whatever the weather. What we don't have yet are the policies and price points to deliver it. Tom Clark, Sky News, Salford.